if I was dying, I would have been dead by the time somebody picked up the phone today. Team. Welcome back to Denny's TV where we bring what's going on in these streets to your TV. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Danielle. So make sure that you guys like, comment, and subscribe because y'all know we're about to go up. Okay. Welcome back to another vlog or a few days of my life. Today is Thursday and I decided to start this vlog off because today is such a busy day like as far as content creating and it's also a busy day. Well, not work, but tomorrow's a busy day as far as work. I'm gonna just say this, this has this is going to be a busy week for me. So today is Thursday and I'm in the process of filming a Skims versus Target versus Old Navy active haul video. So this video will be dropping today. So if y'all haven't watched it, go and take a look because I'm drop, dropping all gems for my babies on a budget. But I was just sitting here and I'm like, oh my God, I have so much stuff to do because my work week is thrown off because I have to work tomorrow because St. Patrick's Day is really, really huge in Savannah. So I have to work on Friday and I'm like, bro, I'm going to be tired because tonight um, BMF drops on stars at midnight and then Power Book Ghost comes on at midnight. And y'all know I got to get on TikTok and talk about my shows because... My community really depends on me on TikTok to talk about these shows. So I'm like, bro, I'm literally going to be so tired because BMF is a freaking hour long and then power is an hour long. So I'm going to go to sleep, then have to wake up and then go to work and deal with all craziness and chaos. Y'all, this is too much. The life of somebody working a nine to five and then also creating content. So yeah, I decided to just kick off and start this weekly vlog here. Right now, I am getting ready to um, do my TikTok for, do my video for TikTok. What am I talking about? Because I'm about to film about Snowfall. Snowfall was crazy yesterday. Oh my goodness, y'all. Franklin, do not play with Franklin Saint. I'm gonna say that right here. And if you're not a Franklin Saint stan, go ahead and exit off this channel. No, I'm just playing. But I really do not play about my shows. But Franklin did that this episode. So if y'all want to hear more about what I gotta say, follow me on TikTok, Danny TV, because talking about these shows has really became my passion. Like I was always a person that would like watch my show and then tweet about it. And like now, since I talk about it on TikTok, I'm literally so obsessed and it makes me so happy because I'll be like, what y'all think about this show, you know? All right, so I'm getting ready to do that. Usually when I do the, my TikToks, I just do like green screen and I go on Pinterest and I get like a cute aesthetic video and then I get pictures of each person that I want to talk about. Sometimes I try to get pictures from the episodes, but sometimes I can't always do that. So I just get pictures and I say what I got to say about the character and I say what I got to say about the show. I also need to watch Bel Air and then I need to um, put a TikTok up about that too. The last three episodes have not been T to me. They've been pretty boring, but what I will say is will has been getting on my last nerve and I'm actually liking Carlton a little bit more. I didn't really like Carlton in season one because I hated how it was that whole scene with him letting like the white dude say the N word. And that really pissed me off. But now like Carlton got a little act right, but Will is like being really cocky and starting to feel himself a little too much. But anyway, um, I'm going to do that. And Snowfall, season six, episode six. Oh my God, y'all. This episode was so intense. I literally was like, oh my God, the whole episode. If you have not watched this episode, I'm going to need for you to stop what you're doing right now and go watch it because this episode was fire. 
it was so much that happened. But if you have, let's jump right into it. Show no love, it'll get you killed. Jerome got shot straight in the heart because he was showing love to a hood rat and chose Louie over his freaking family, Franklin. If it wasn't for Franklin, he would still be jamming Jerome, sitting on that porch with his little radio, selling those dime bags, and he never would have been exposed to this different lifestyle. It's really bad that he did die, but I don't feel sorry for him because you should have chose your family. Like, Louie has showed you time after time that she's all for self. You know, he went off on her in this episode, and at the end of the day, she still chose herself, and that was at the expense of his life. So, sorry, Jerome. You should have chose the right side. You chose the wrong side. I'm so happy that he died also because he talked extremely too much, just like his brother Kevin. Like, that's something that they both had in common. Now, who do Teddy think he is to walk in this man's house and tell him that he's going to kill him? And he's so upset that Franklin killed his daddy. Like, sir, you didn't even like your daddy. And what did you think was going to happen when you took this man's millions and you also killed his father? So it's given, it's cool when Teddy killed Franklin's daddy, but it's a problem when Franklin killed his daddy. Sir, it don't work like that. Y'all know majority of the time I'm team Franklin and he really pissed me off this episode because after all the betrayal, he still went back to save Louie and she's bumping her gums in the next episode saying that it's Franklin's fault that Jerome died. Like Franklin, yeah, you are 100% going to regret this. You should have killed her while you had the chance because she's nothing but a snake. Like, did you forget what she did to you? I'm confused, but... I guess his loyalty ultimately lies within his family. Louis is not giving his name up, but he in a car with The Rock having him a good old time. Do y'all think he overdosed? Because I feel like he kind of overdosed, but I'm really not sure. My boy Scully just want the peace. The fact that he's out teaming up with the people that killed his daughter and shot his baby mama, that's crazy. But he been through a lot and he just wants peace, y'all. Also, and Franklin teaming up now, that's a scary sight. The ringmaster of the Circus of Snowfall goes to Louie. This big gum heifer really cost her husband his life. Why couldn't you just go to Jamaica? You had to be so greedy. And then for me, it's the fact that she literally gave Franklin up in a heartbeat, but she refused to give up Buckley, a ex-cop crackhead. Like, you really cannot be serious like this girl was willing to get raped and branded because she did not want to give Buckley up and I just can't stand her like she's a snake she's always been a snake she's always been about herself Jerome should have learned like if it wasn't for Franklin you would still be sleeping around with Claudia and still being the trick that you are I really cannot stand her like she should have died Good morning, street team. Happy Sunday. It's been a few days since I actually picked up my camera. The last time I picked up my camera was on like Thursday. Well, anyway, I'm on my way to Belford Steakhouse. Um, my friend Alyssa is having a birthday brunch. This is my first time going to this steakhouse. It's supposed to be the best steakhouse in Savannah. Oh, wait. I'm I'm like, let me make sure I'm not speeding and the police are by me. So um, I'm excited to try them. This is also a goodbye party because Alyssa is moving um, and she's gonna be starting a new job soon. So I'm sad that she's leaving, but I'm also super excited for her and her new journey. Next week, we're actually going to Jacksonville for like a day trip. Um, and that's like our goodbye thing. And then I think she's doing like one more goodbye. So I will um, see y'all once I get to the steakhouse so I can show y'all how everything looks. I'm low, oops, wait a minute. I'm like going the wrong way. I'm low key nervous about where I'm gonna park because this is St. Patrick's weekend and St. Patrick's Day is huge in Savannah. So people have literally been out like all weekend, like, the MAA fighter Connor McGregor came here and he got like his car wrapped and stuff. So it's early, so I hope people are like still in the house, but we'll see where I can park because I am not trying to pay for parking. Um, Savannah be having a nerve like downtown charging 15 and $20 and I just be like, boo, 
you are not Atlanta to be charging like that. I don't even want to pay that in Atlanta, and I dang sure don't want to pay it here. So I am pulling up, y'all. Let's see if people are out. So this is like with damn oops. Once this like truck get from in front of me, I can show y'all a little bit of what downtown Savannah look like. This is what they call the squares. Who's Sonya L. Jackson? Child, if they don't come on. This is what they call like the squares. Um, so the Franklin Square. Maybe I can park over here because I think actually I think this might be the steakhouse right here. This white building. Yeah, it is. So okay this is i think is this it no that's not it where is it okay so it's somewhere in here because this is city market i just need somewhere to park um excuse me jeep audi coming through here let's see where can your girl park i have no idea it's just people walking around and they put the barriers up too Okay, I'm about to find parking and then I will check back in with y'all. Got a bellini. I kinda want some olive oil. So you said there's mac and cheese, uh, fries, potatoes. I think that I'm going to get the triple blend burger. Um, I also was looking at the biscuit sliders or the shrimp pokey. But as of right now, I think I'm going to get the triple bullion burger with potato. So you're the oldest sister? I am. I'm the oldest sister. No baby. There's no Ooh, uh, we have an oldest sister. So, and a brother. There's four of us. Four of y'all. So he's the only boy. Okay. The youngest. Then Alyssa, then you. So it's my older sister, then me, then her, then my younger Okay. Marissa and Alyssa. So you the you're the oldest though. I love when people say it right though. Alyssa and Marissa. So, no. so how old are you? Uh, we're like 37. Oh, oh you're a twin. Oh, why she never said that? I'm sorry. I knew she had a twin. I didn't know. I never knew that she had a twin. You didn't tell her we were twins. I never knew you had a twin. I knew you had sisters. I'm crazy. Are you going this way or? Okay. Which one is better, steak and eggs or shrimp, greens, and grits? That's one of the shrimp, greens, and grits. Steak and eggs? Yeah, that's a nice steak and eggs. Steak and eggs, potatoes. So, you know, you think about that. I think it's a shrimp, greens, and grits. I feel like that means. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I don't want the shrimp. Okay. It's a party in your house. Okay. I'm going crazy right now. I have a few questions. Do you guys have mustard and mayo? Yeah, I do have mustard and mayo. Okay. okay. All right. I think, can I get the, may I get the triple blend burger? Um, no bacon, please. Can you do medium well? And then, um, let's see here. Do you have pickles? No pickles? Okay. Um, no tomato. And then I'll just take like mustard and mayo on the side. Oh, but no, um, no, I'm sorry, no ketchup on the burger. Oh, oh yeah, okay, cool. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Inside a G class, that's just a 
All right, y'all, I'm back from my review on Belfords. For me, I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. I had the burger, that was really good. My drink was good. I even got a free drink that was good, and I tried the dessert, that was good. Okay, Brittany, what's your review? I think it was really good. I had the biscuit sliders, and they were really good. They had ham, they had eggs, just what I needed because I wasn't that hungry. And then the mimosas were good as well because they do bottomless, so can't complain. <laughs> Alyssa, what was your review with this camera? Look at her face. I'm gonna go. Tonight. Can you explain, Miss Angela Rye? <laughs> <laughs> I had these. Watch my purse. An egg, no okay. egg. And my food. Egg, no egg. And my egg. <laughs> Good though. It was very good. The free drink was good. And the drink was smooth. Good. Service was great. 10 out of 10. Okay. Oh, Mar I'm getting Alyssa and know. Marissa. Uh, They're twins, y'all. It was given. I'll say the restaurant overall 10 out of 10. First of all, I'm tipsy. I had shrimp and greens. Shrimp was chef's kiss. You know, I'm a real critic. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Um, yeah, the greens is also fire. So, yeah. Are Check out View Friends. Are you? Or Bell Friends. I'm like, y'all. I don't know if it's like a twin thing, but these two are like night and day. And all day, I am just like, please. Who was born first? Me. And she's trying to act older. So I told her before we got here, look, you're gonna hush. <laughs> I run this. I cannot deal with Look, she already knows something. That's what she did. I can't deal with that. She's trying to act awesome. Look, I run this. Alyssa, what do you have to say? If you really run it, you don't have to say it. <laughs> well, I do run it. What Beyonce say? What did she say? <laughs> you don't even know who. Y'all, these twins are crazy. <laughs> Happy Wednesday, y'all. Your girl is on her way to work. Oh my God, my mouth is moving weird. Okay, anyway, I put my retainer um I've started back wearing my aligners and now I'm noticing that my mouth is moving weird. I have to get used to my mouth moving like this again. But anyway, we want a great smile and we want our teeth to be straight. So I'm doing what needs to be done. And actually, the second time around with trays feels way more comfortable than the first time. I don't know if they've like changed the material, but Usually when you put them in, they're like really tight and they hurt so bad. I have them in and they do not hurt like at all. I do need to get like a chewy so I can make them fit a little more, but I feel like they honestly um, fit perfectly. I came on here to tell y'all that I'm being like a real grown adult this morning because, okay, I'm out of like my frozen fruit for smoothies and I was like, okay, I'm gonna go to Smoothie King. First off, I've been locked out of my Smoothie King account for like three weeks and every time I try to reset the password, it does not send me a link to reset the password. So I honestly need to call like their customer service. So I was like, you know what? I'll just make a new account with my other email but I also want the old account back because I have so many rewards on there and I still need to get my birthday smoothie. But anyway, I made a new account and then I got a $2 coupon for signing up. So y'all do that with Smoothie King. Love, love, love Smoothie King. And so I call myself leaving the house a little early so I can get this smoothie. And like I'm hitting the highway and I'm like, okay. I do have the option to like go get the smoothie anyway and be a little late or rush and I was like you know what I really don't feel like doing that this morning so I am just going to wait till my lunch break and I'll just go and get my smoothie if you're wondering what smoothie I get from Smoothie King the Danny starter pack is um 
how I'm trying to tell y'all something and I forgot what's the name of the smoothie I get um the immune builder no I don't get the girl girl okay so sometimes I get the immune builder but like the Danielle starter pack with the greens is the mango vegan kale and I know you're probably like ugh kale but like you really cannot taste the kale it is so good it's so healthy my absolute favorite so anyway I'm on my way to work I might show y'all a little bit of work today I don't really know um because it's gonna be a lot of people at work today and I don't like want to pull my camera out and I don't feel like answering questions I was like in a crappy mood last night because a lot of like family ish is going on and if my mama watching this video my mama gonna call me and be like you be on there telling all your business and it's like girl no I do not like I don't be on there telling all my business so I can't tell y'all because my mama gonna be calling me child and I don't feel like being bothered with that so anyway um I don't know at this time right now I kind of feel like I need to go home like as soon as possible so I need to figure out when I'm going back home because it's a lot going on and I need to just go back home and be with my family for you know a few days and then come back but I don't want to go back home and then something happens and then I have to turn back around and go so I'm trying to like weigh it out but I do need to go back home because I miss like my parents, I miss my siblings, I miss my son, Santana, I miss my Sandy, and then I miss my grandparents too. And I miss some of my friends. I don't miss all of y'all. I miss a few. <laughs> I play too much, but I miss some friends. Yeah. So anyway, y'all didn't want to hear me talk for four minutes because I'm looking at the camera and I've been talking for four minutes. So I'm about to go to work i'm really happy because today is my friday also if y'all like looking at my edges on the camera y'all need to mind y'all business and worry about y'all own edges because i am doing a no edge control look today because my edges are um getting like really oily and i need to get my hair redone i want to get some braids but I can't really find anybody, you know, down here to do my hair that I really, really like. Only mayo, cheese, and mustard. And pickles. And what I in the pickles? Y'all don't have pickles? Nah. This got really upset because first of all, I shouldn't be eating a fast food anyway, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to just go to Burger King and all the plan. I don't know if y'all heard in the clip, but all the plan and laughing in the clip, you can't take the order. And then you talking about that you don't have pickles. Like, I'm not about to play with you. Were you at work? Like, was your boyfriend in there? Because I don't understand what was funny. So now I'm looking stupid because I don't know what I'm about to eat for lunch. Basically. That really just made me so mad. Yeah. Like, what? And then COVID is 15 minutes away. So it's like I'm not finna drive 15 minutes away when I literally thought that I was just going down the street. And the Sonic over here is nasty. I really don't have any options. Hmm. Now it's not a good time. I just want to say this way you're supposed to make it all basically <laughs> but it's like i had made food but i didn't want to eat that again because i had been you know meal prepping and eating it but now it's you like, gotta make more than one meal now. i know now i'm just like i don't know what i'm about to eat and i can't think fast i want to learn how to make a really good um, turkey burger oh yeah i wouldn't mind that either actually i made my meatballs that i made this week with turkey and i didn't really like them honestly really have uh, you ever thought to try instead of using turkey try to use um chicken uh, i should try chicken. ground chicken i, I have five people use ground chicken girl ain't nobody finna hit that, hit that piece of <laughs> these people better leave me alone all right, y'all, we trying it again. I had to go to a different Burger King. If they tell me that they don't have no pickles, I'm going to just hang it up. And clearly, that mean that that's my sign and I ain't supposed to be eating here. All right. We're back. 
Hello, can I get a junior whopper please with like cheese? No cheese? Cheese. You want the combo the sandwich? Um the sandwich and on the whopper can I get um pickles, mustard, and mayo? Alright. And then can I get a small fry please? Alright. And that'll be it. Six nine three six one. Thank you. So you're gonna be celebrating that. What do y'all have planned? Um, we're going to brunch. So we're leaving at like 7 a.m. Okay. Um, we're going to brunch. And then after that, we're going to um the mall, the little shopping center they have. Uh, we're gonna go to the there? Yeah, the beach. Mm -hmm. Um, we're supposed to go to a winery. Ooh, we're gonna full day. Yeah, we're basically trying to do all this crap. <laughs> we'll see if it happens. Are y'all staying overnight or are you coming back? Yeah, we're staying overnight. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. I know when people are like, oh, Jacksonville, a cute little day trip. I'm like, but I don't want to drive back home. I know, right? After oh, doing all this crap, is there anything you would recommend for Jacksonville? Um, Town Center is my favorite thing to go do down there because I like shopping. Okay. <laughs> that's all I ever want to do. My kids like Top Golf down there, but Top Golf costs a lot of money for what you're doing. Like, mm -hmm. And I don't like golf like that. Yeah. And anything that you got to play by the hour, like I start talking, I'm doing this and that. Next thing I know, it's already been an hour. Outside, um, I'm walking down to Forever 21. I was in H&M and I wasn't really feeling some of the looks. The dress is an absolute no. The shirt with the skirt would have been cute, but I needed that skirt in an extra small. That was a small and it was too big and I'm not wearing big clothes. And then the cargos, I do like the cargos, but I feel like I need a size four. Those were a size six, so I probably would need to get them tailored, but I may like take them in a little bit. I'm about to go on Forever 21 and see if they have some cargo pants because I'm really just looking for a cute pair of cargos. I am so irritated because, okay, the last thing I did was go into H&M and I was trying on pants and stuff and that footage is all on my cell phone. So I go in Forever 21, I'm talking to my sister on the phone, and then I put my cell phone in my back pocket and I go in the fitting room. So then I go in the fitting room and I'm like, wait, where's my cell phone? Because I'm about to record some footage on the phone. The phone is gone, y'all. So I don't know, like, I'm like, okay, I know I'm not crazy. So I'm thinking that my phone must have fell out my back pocket when I was walking. Cause I'm like, I know nobody didn't get close up on me and literally take my phone out of my back pocket and I didn't feel that. So now I don't have a cell phone um, and I'm irritated. So I'm about to, I literally don't have a phone to call nobody. Like I don't have a house phone. I don't even know where T-Mobile is to go get a phone. So I'm literally just out of luck. I just thought I just thought about it. My phone is sharing the location, so I'm about to contact my family members. Tell me where this phone is because if the phone is still in the area, I'm about to go to whoever's house and you finna give my damn phone back. It's not finna be no if, ands, or buts about it because the phone does not belong to you. All right, y'all, got my phone back. So what I think happened is, I think that my phone probably fell out my back pocket and one of the workers had my phone 100% because I came back, called the police, Eric was pinging my phone, and then miraculously, like we tracked the phone, it never let them off, so that's why I think it was one of the workers. And then once the police showed up, miraculously, we found the phone and it was pinging. So somebody put my phone in the pants and hid the pants. The pants were definitely hidden on a rack. It was a dress rack. But, hey, I got my phone. So we all good. The events that are happening in my life today are pretty insane. So it is a little doggy that is lost. And I'm like, is this your dog? Is this your dog? That's what I wanna know. 
he's just running and clearly like is this your dog is that your dog no okay so stop trying to steal people pets i'm trying to get the authorities on the phone this don't make no sense child hold on i gotta call 911 i ain't I had to call the police one too many times today, and I must say the wait times are insane. When do people stop answering the phone? Hello? I mean, somebody could literally. Hello, I'm calling because um, I think that a dog is lost and i'm trying to see if you guys could come pick the dog up i honestly think that these okay. people are about to take the dog and the dog is on a two road and he's running because he's i know he don't belong to these people because i just asked him was it their dog and they said no but they pulled over so i think they're about to take the dog um but now the dog is just running up this road and you know i have a dog i don't want the dog to get hit yeah because the people in a kidnapping van are about to steal this dog and i don't if it don't belong to you then you need to leave it alone because i see them turning into the subdivision and i don't like that because i asked them did the dog belong to them and they said no i'm trying to figure out who he belongs to i'm on the phone with the police and then it's these people in this kidnapping van and i think they're about to take them yeah all the way down there uh-huh okay all right yeah the lady just said she's seen the dog running so i assume he may belong over here okay and I, I i do have a question what's going on with the whole times because this is the second time i've had to call the police today and i'm like if i'm getting slaughtered nobody's picking up the phone Is, so is it like a call center? We have a call center, yeah. Mm. Okay, I mean, that's what it sounds like. Because I'm used to the people 911 in Missouri picking up as soon as possible. I'm like, if I was dying, I would have been dead by the time somebody picked up the phone today. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, ma'am, but yes, we do answer them in the order that they're received. Alrighty then. Alright, we'll get someone out about the dog. Okay, bye bye. I literally could have been dead and she doesn't care. Well, yeah, he been running up and down that two-way street and he almost got hit by several cars. So Yeah, so I don't know where he went. I called I called animal control because those people out there was about to take him. So I don't know. Alright, I get I did my good deed for the day. Have a good day. Yeah. I'm, I'm out here fighting I'm out here fighting for the community okay I didn't got I didn't got victimized today I ain't got time for this hey street team happy Sunday it's been a few days since I've actually picked my camera up I am on my way to the Perry Lane Hotel to go to a rooftop bar for my friends like um going away party so yeah this is like the official last going away party because i literally feel like we've been celebrating her the whole month um it was her birthday and then she did like a girl's trip for her going away with like all of her close friends here and then now it's like the final shebang with some of the work people so i think it's gonna be fun um, I've never been to the Perry Lane Hotel before, but it's definitely an aesthetic and a vibe from what I have saw on TikTok and a rooftop bar looks really, really nice. Alyssa is opening her basket. <laughs> this is my favorite wine. <laughs> Y'all remember? <laughs> oh my god. Are we gonna get some tears? No, I cried already. <laughs> well, let me see. 
the way you moved your bed, that's normal. I need to read. Oh, am I supposed to read this out loud? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, might as well. Read to the class, please. <laughs> You're going to do amazing things at your new station. We wish you the best of luck. Please know that God has exciting plans for your future. We cannot wait to see you blossom even more. We love you. Your WTMC Soul Sisters, aka Real Journalists of Savannah. Period. Period. You said hi. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're included in that. All the nice. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. Aww. Thank you. Look at y'all. What? Cute, so cute. Aww, this is our little cool. picture on the class. The family photo. <laughs> Y'all was flooding on you <laughs> the whole time. Oh, you added more stuff. Yes, I got more stuff for adding to the boxes. Yeah, hey, you know, moving is tough. So you ain't got a grocery shop, you got a little bit of food. Okay. Candy. Because of my sweet tooth. Okay, story behind this. Oh my god. Story behind this. Was this one of our first? That was our first outing. This was our together. Very first outing. We did um, like a yoga. <laughs> yoga. Sip. That was supposed to be on a rooftop. It was supposed to be on a rooftop, but not a rooftop. But the vibes were still there, and we did like a yoga and sip. And that was Just before. We've been together ever since. <laughs> so funny. Ciao, Alyssa, you got everything in there. Hey, y'all, I just left the Perry Lane rooftop bar. Um, It was cool, but to me, that's the type of bar that you go to to take your pictures and get, like, the aesthetic and kind of the rooftop vibe. But as far as food, they didn't really... Oops. They're about to smoke. My car. All right. I was, like, by this gate, and I'm like, oops, the gate is about to smack my car. Um, as far as food, it wasn't really a lot on the menu. I got the Frosé drink. It was okay. Um, to me, this is kind of the place that you would go to to take your pictures and get a little aesthetic and a vibe and then go on. But as far as like eating there, eh, I don't think that it's like a place where you just gonna get a fire meal. And then the drinks are cool, so you can get a little drink. But for the most part, it's just like an aesthetically pleasing place. And you can see like Savannah from the rooftop, which is very, very pretty. But anyway, um, this concludes my vlog for this week. Thank you guys for watching. I gave y'all four uploads and it is crazy. Like I exceeded the amount that I usually upload. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure that you guys like, comment, and subscribe because y'all know we're about to go up.